it has been a uh, fun-filled week and I want to give you a quick recap. I have an appointment today to speak with Richard Martin and Adam Tabruz of the Suncoast Partnership to End Homelessness here in Sarasota County. They developed this 10-year plan and I'm going to talk to them about that today and you'll be seeing a lot more going forward since I am currently homeless. Last week I stayed with Rob and Wendy Gurdon for a little while and uh, they've been, they're moving and so they need help packing stuff up. And so I was able to stay with them for a few days. I stayed with my friend um, Tony for a few days where he needed some design work done, uh, interior design in his place. So I helped out do that, where he put up these really great um, banners in his place. He got this fabric from Morocco when he was there and he had this vision. So I was able to help him get the hardware up and he was able to finagle it where he wanted it and uh, everybody's happy. So generally what I'm trying to do when I'm staying with someone um, is is offer them something you know I'm not trying to be a freeloader I'm not trying to be a bum I'm not trying to take advantage of the system or anyone uh, when I do stay with someone I want them to leave or I want to by the time I leave <laughs> them to be a little bit more um, relaxed I guess about uh, where their place is he gives you back just as much as you give him in a different way than I probably expected. Uh, it's more than just a helping hand for a couple of days. Uh, he makes you think about things and uh, that really benefits you, you know, inside. Makes you feel good. You a man. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you're uh, in Sarasota or outside of Sarasota, want me to come for a visit, what do you need me to do? Wash the dishes, mow the yard, whatever it is. Uh, and also this week uh, we had Thunder by the Bay here in Sarasota where we had all kinds of uh, motorcycles just swamp it. It's kind of kind of like Sturgis or Hollister or any other bike week you have like in Daytona or whatever, but it's here in Sarasota. And we have a much cooler name. I mean, Thunder by the Bay is a lot better than Sturgis Bike Rally, you know? So it's, it was really cool to see all the different bikes come out. Of course, mine was like the coolest one there, I think. Mine first place, best bike. <laughs> and then uh, EcoVogue 365, Jira, who uh, has been the uh, fashion editor for Ma Modern Heavy Mag. She and her mom have this uh, really cool design company. They do a lot of great designs with fabric and fashion and whatnot. And so they were having a photo shoot. and. Last month I did a kind of a flash installation of the labyrinth of the unbroken path at First Presbyterian Church, who they have a labyrinth as well. And uh, months earlier, one of their pastors was out and about with his video camera and asked if I would be interviewed. And even though I was with someone who said I shouldn't because she is politically minded and is afraid that it, whatever I say can be used against me, uh, I gave my uh, ideas on what I thought of the Occupy movement, which is what he asked me about. And so today I finally got the chance to go over and talk to him about this um, flash installation I had done on his property, or the church's property. And, um, and they're really, really um, amenable to having me work with them. And so I'll be installing it this Saturday um, because it is Martin Luther King weekend. And so hopefully this will help um, a little bit through the community that comes together there. They have an AA meeting and of course, a lot of the things that are talked about in the Unbroken Path are very amenable to um, you know, these kind of as, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous and all the anonymous folks and anybody who's on a path toward understanding themselves better and being more comfortable in their own skin and understanding their place in the world. So that's kind of what it's about. So it's been a very fun week. I uh, got some, some great musicians. We had this David, David Bowie tribute concert out of the Cock and Bull here in Sarasota. It was the third night of this three part tribute in three different cities. And any show at the Cock and Bull is just always going to be fun. So I saw Rockstar Bentley and uh, a few other groups there that were just outstanding. Um, last night they had the worst band showcase at the Blue Owl where I got to see Tim Sookets, who's just an amazing songwriter here in town. So yeah, fun filled, jam packed, and um, still eating somehow. Uh, using a little bit of, um, it was kind of cool. I, I used some, I had a production meeting this morning and I used my food stamps to get some scones and some fruit and something to drink for myself uh, and uh, you know trying to share with, with my people and I had some left over and so it was just coming down here to the Sun Coast Partnership to End Homelessness I saw a guy on the side of the road you know grizzled beard and everything and um, sign that said homeless vet all this 
So I stopped and asked him if he had anything uh, to eat today, and he didn't. So I gave him the rest of the blueberry scones, which he really loved. And, you know, as I was leaving, he said, God bless. And he said he just did. So that's always a cool thing for me when just the little things that you can just pop out and, and bless somebody's life in those, those simple little ways that uh, it's kind of fun. So uh, life is still good. I'm still managing to smile. Got a little bit of rain here today in Sarasota. But um, yeah, life is good. All is up. And uh, I'll keep you informed of where we go from here. Have a great day.